So in this video I want to introduce you to the change of sign method, a way of locating roots when our algebraic methods have come to nothing. Okay? So let's say that we have our x-axis and we've got uh, a curve that is intersecting the x-axis and this is the root that I am interested in. Okay? This is the point I'm interested in, that x value there. Okay? Now, this curve, let's give it a name. Let's call it y equals f of x, OK? And let's say we have this point, which we will call A, and this point we will call B. OK, let's, now I'll write it up this way. OK? Then this point that is on the curve is uh, the coordinates A, f of A. And this point that is on the curve will be B, F of B. OK? So, what I'd be saying then is that um, if I had substituted in the point A into my curve and I had got a positive value, then I know that the curve is above the x-axis at that point. So, if F of A is positive, then my curve is above the x-axis there. And if I substituted b into my function and I got a value that was negative, that would mean that the curve has gone below the x-axis. So I could infer from that that the curve must cross the x-axis somewhere between a and b. OK, now that's not enough. OK, what is also important and what's inferred by the way that I've drawn the curve is that the curve is continuous between those two points, because I could quite easily have just said, right, it looks like this up to this point, And then maybe it looks like this. OK, maybe there was a discontinuity in the curve, this kind of step. And so you would still get that f of a is positive and f of b is negative, but the curve has not crossed the x-axis between those two points. Or maybe the curve actually has uh, an asymptote somewhere between those two points. OK, maybe it looks like this. OK, but I'd still get that behaviour of this change of sign. So it requires that information that the curve is continuous between those two points as well. So we can say that if there is a change of sign between A and B, and, this is crucial, and if the curve is continuous between A and B, then there is at least one root between A and B. Now the reason why I say there's at least one is because, well, we could have a situation, let's get rid of that asymptote now. There's no reason why the curve couldn't have done something like this. Okay, I would have the behaviour of the change of sign, the curve is continuous, but actually that there are three roots between those two points. So the fact that there has to be this at least one part in it um, needs to be there as well. Okay, so this is the change of sign method in action. So the idea being that if there's a change of sign and the curve is continuous between those two points, then uh, I know that there is at least one root there. OK, and we're going to see some examples of how this really works, a little bit more information on this in the coming videos.